Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Nice Institution on Nice.com TV. My name is Wafo Chamaka. Happy New Month. It is the month of June of the year 2017. And for some homes, we do something called shopping. So today, we are going to be talking about shopping. Yes. What do you do when you want to shop? One major important rule when you want to shop is to buy your dry goods. Now, what do we mean by dry goods? Things that are not meat or, you know, anything in large quantities. Things like your toiletries, things like your tissues, things like your washing liquids, your um, dustbin rolls, all those things. Buy them in large quantities. It helps to save money over time. Yes. Now, for items that you buy regularly, you should make sure that you go to the shops. You know, okay, now, let me put it this way. You buy, you've bought things from different shops over time. Now, you've come to see which is cheaper than others. Now, for items that you buy regularly, go to the shop that is cheaper for things like your grocery, of course, where you buy your cereals, you buy your milk, you buy your, you know what I mean, your tea, your drinks, all those things. Go to the shops that are cheaper. With time, that money will come in handy. You don't know. It might be like, oh, I'm just saving 500, but by the time you do 500 naira, you know how we do our math here. Basically, like, let's say every month, that's about 6k you save in a year from just going to some random shop and buying them anyhow. Don't shop hungry. There's this rule about when you're hungry and you're going to shop, you tend to see biscuits as something wonderful. You get to see chocolates and you get to see those lovely juice, those fizzy drinks. They look very exciting to you and you want to have them. Don't make that mistake. No. When you want to shop, sit down at home, eat your ever, if possibly, or your apple, or your rice, or your noodles. Have enough energy inside your system and then go shopping. So in that case, things like, you know, biscuits and chin chins and all those other things, they don't seem appealing to you. They just, oh, they're just something you buy for some other time. So when you want to go shopping next time, make sure you have your feel at home so that you don't go junk shopping. Now, this one is very, very key, especially for women. Make sure you're friends with the butcher or, of course, the meat seller, as we call it here. Believe me, over time, I know a lot of people who have done that. Over time, the master selling meat for you at a cheaper rate than he sells to, uh, to any other person. He starts giving you discount because you have a personal relationship with him. So make sure you find the one who sells properly and sells, you know, the real deal, doesn't sell stale meat, and make sure you're friendly with him. If you're a rude and nasty person, keep it at home. When you get to the market, be the nicest person you could ever be. Be friendly so you could get discount and get good products as well. Another one is this very important one. I do this. Make sure you write your prices on a pad. While you're shopping, have your paper. When you, this is the list you have made. By the side, maybe that's the price you put up, your estimated price before you left the house. At the other end of the paper, write what you bought it with. That way you know whether the price has increased from the recent time you bought and now. Always do that, it helps you manage your expenses. I hope we've been able to help you today on how to make shopping easier and better for you. If you found this video helpful, please share that you like and subscribe to our page, nige.com TV. My name is Wafo Chamaka. Enjoy the rest of your day.